Hello guys, Game Boy Hub here, and welcome back to another video. Now, a few videos ago, I did a video on installing Windows 11 on RAM, and you guys really seem to like that video, and I also got a bunch of positive comments on it. So today, we are going to be doing something similar, and we are going to be installing Windows on VRAM. Now, if you do not know what VRAM is, VRAM is basically the memory that you have in your video card. So it is your video memory. And on this machine, I have an RTX 3050 graphics card, which has four gigabytes of VRAM. So today we are going to be making a drive on those four gigabytes of VRAM. So I'll likely make a two gigabyte drive. And then I'm going to be installing Windows 98 on that drive. And we are going to be running that version of Windows 98 off of my graphics card. So yeah, let's just get started with the video. So here are the few things that I'm going to need to install before we get started with this. So the first thing we'll need is the I'm disk toolkit. So we can just enter this folder and click on the batch file in order to install this and click yes on this prompt. And here is the I'm disk toolkit. So I'll just disable these two options and click on the install button. And there you go, that finished almost immediately. So we are ready to start with the VRAM disk. And the only other thing we'll need is the GPU RAM drive application, which I'll just use the x64 version right here. So I'll just click yes once again to run it. And you can see that this application is pretty primitive. So the only thing we need to do is go under select device right here and select my RTX 3050, which has four gigabytes of memory. As you can see, we are going to put it under drive V for video card. And yeah, we're gonna select hard drive right here non removable is fine and for the memory size we'll just put 1024 which is a gigabyte and it'll be formatted as xfat which is perfectly fine for me so I'll just click the big mount button. And yeah, now if we close out of this and go into this PC, and you do actually need to leave that program running in order for the disk to be visible, so don't X out of it, just minimize it. And here is our VRAM disk, which is 0.99 gigabytes in size. Now, in my previous video, I also tested the speeds of the RAM disk compared to my normal SSD. So I'll definitely do that right now. So I just downloaded Crystal Disk Mark right over here and we're going to test both the SSD speed and the speed of the video card drive right now. So I'll just enter the 64-bit version right over here and here is Crystal Disk Mark. So first I'll select my C drive which is my SSD and I'll click on the All button right over here just so it tests normally. And yeah, I'll be right back when it's finished testing the C drive. And there we go, the SSD has been fully tested, so these are the speeds, so just keep those in mind. And now we will select the V drive that we just created and click the same button in order to test the speed on that. Ah, okay, we just needed to select 512 megabytes right over here. So yeah, now it will test the VRAM speeds, so I'll be back when it's done. And here are the results of the VRAM disk and you can see that it is about half as slow as the SSD, which is definitely not what I expected, but I guess the RAM disk is much faster and the VRAM disks are slower. That's pretty interesting, honestly. So yeah, now that we've seen the speed of the VRAM disk and how it compares to our SSD, we are finally ready to install Windows 98 on it. So this time I'll be using VirtualBox because it is much more lightweight than than VMware Workstation. And also I have had some problems with installing Windows 98 inside of VMware Workstation. So I'll try VirtualBox and hopefully we'll have no problems. 
So here are the Windows 98 SE ISO and the boot disk that we'll need for this installation. So let's create a new virtual machine and I'll call it Windows 98 like so. And for the ISO image, I'll just choose the Windows 98 second edition ISO. Let's go over here and I'll give it 128 megabytes of RAM because that is absolutely fine and a single core CPU is also absolutely fine. And for the hard disk, I'm going to lower this down to about, let's give it 900 megabytes because that will be absolutely fine for Windows 98. And I will also move the virtual hard disk file over to the V disk and save it right over there. So there we go. And then I'll just click finish right here. And there we go. We have created the virtual machine and the virtual hard disk file of it is stored on the video card. So I'll go over to the settings because we do need to add a floppy drive in order to put in the boot disk. So I'll definitely do that right now. So here is the floppy disk. So I'll just select the image, which is also on my desktop and click OK. And now everything should boot normally. So let's start with the Windows 98 installation. And we'll select start Windows 98 setup from CD-ROM. And now I will also make the machine full screen like so. And we'll click enter right over here, configure unallocated disk space. And yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys know all about the uh, Windows 98 setup already because I've done it on the channel a few dozen times by now. But yeah, it'll just format the drive and everything will go to plan. Hopefully we have no errors and we just got the mouse built in. So I'll just continue with the setup. I'll start the time lapse right now and I'll be back when Windows 98 is installed. Okay, so now the setup is done. So I'll need to remove the uh, floppy drive. So I'll need to remove the disk from the floppy drive. So we'll click on this right over here. And then I'll just let the machine restart and do its thing. And I'll go for boot from hard disk right here. We'll type in our name right over here and I will accept the license agreement. So now we just need to punch in the product key. And there you go, the product key has been punched in. So now we should should get all of the hardware set up, hopefully. Usually, if there will be any errors during the installation, they'll come up during this process. So let's hope that we can get through it normally. And yeah, there we go. We got this Explorer error, which is what I get every time in the shell 32 DLL file. I don't know what's wrong with this, but I'll just Google it right now because I've been getting this error every time I've tried to install Windows 98 in the past, like a month or so. So I'll just Google this and see what the problem with this is. Okay, so I just found some kind of patch floppy disk that will need to run in order to fix this. So I'll just go over to the floppy drive, click choose a disk file, and I'll choose the .ima file from the downloads that we just downloaded and click open. And now I will restart the machine. So we'll go reset. And now it will boot from the floppy. So I'll just click the first option right here. And once we are booted into the patch environment, we'll need to run patch 9x like so and click enter. And it'll ask us for the Windows system folder so we can just click enter here. So now it basically found the driver that is problematic and that Windows has problems with. So we'll just choose option three right over here and click enter. And on this one, we can just click Y and click enter to continue. And yeah, now we can press enter to exit. And now we can eject the floppy from the drive and we can reset the machine one more time. 
and that should apparently fix the issue. And wow, it looks like that has actually worked. Uh, we'll try to apply the time as it is right now and we'll see if it gets through this entire setup. But it seems to have fixed the issue because we did just go further from that part where the error came up last time. So let's hope we'll just boot into Windows 98 now. And here we are in our lovely Windows 98 desktop and it has been fully installed onto our graphics card. And you can see everything runs just like a normal virtual machine, nothing is different about this except for the virtual hard drive being on the actual graphics card. Now let me see how much of the uh, space the installation actually took up. And we do have 674 megabytes of free space, so yeah, we are absolutely fine, we can still install install all of the drivers and stuff. So yeah, is it possible to install Windows 98 on a video card? Absolutely. <laughs> and we can do whatever we want right here and basically have fun on Windows 98 when it's fully running off of our graphics card. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And I definitely hope that you found this one interesting. Also, please check out my Twitter and Instagram. And we do have a join button now. So for as low as a dollar a month, you can help out the channel. And you also get some pretty cool perks with that. Like early access to this video right over here. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.